Okay, I know you still you're trying to Google this this thing, and I'm trying to get you to talk. Okay. You know, from a how we say a, a oral a, a oral history. David, back agree. Hanson. <laughs> David Hanson. So is it David Hanson is the name of the cat that did this flag, right? Right. Now, how, David, not, not, David. now tell me the story that you know. How, how you okay. know it? Well, well, this is the original flag that of a copy of his original flag. He only designed to black artists. One hung it in front of the Museum of Harlem, which they're rebuilding now. And the second one, on one of the museums well, on wait, Fifth wait, Avenue. You're not talking about the Studio Museum of Harlem, you're talking about the museum. The museum that actually sat across the street. Oh. The museum of Harlem that was across from Adam Clayton Powell's uh, state building. And uh, this flag here, I've copied exactly what his designs were. Now, there's a lot of counterfeits out here, but mine has the 50 stars and stripes just the way his flag was. And some friends of his came through, they seen it, they got word back to him, and he blessed me. His friends came back through and said he gave me his blessing to turn around and continue to sell the flag. I used a company that didn't do a very good job. You know, they, they didn't want the colors to actually show. But uh, as you can see, the original red, black, and green. Now, this was the symbol of us, the blacks that built this country. Because mm -hmm. remember, frontier, buffalo soldiers, and all of them, we went across the land before the settlers came along and yeah, well, pioneered. Yeah, we, we the ones that, that, how do you say, uh, 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 cleared the land. Correct, taking, correct. taking trees out of a forest is pretty difficult. You oh, know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we definitely, we went across this country. Actually, even before then, we've been around the world. But they won't, they won't let you know the actual facts and history of the, how the world was built, how this country was built. Well, did you, can you say anything about the, the, why, why the stripes are, are black and red and why the, the background for is green and why, why the stars are black? Uh, well, that part I, I've never read, but as I always heard it. Yeah, the red is for the blood. Yeah. The black... Is actually for the people. Yeah. The green is for the land. Yeah, the vegetation. Veg veg we used yeah, to say yeah, in the sixties. In the yeah. sixties, in the, in the we say the vegetation of the land because this is the rich. This is here's a here's a, the uh, Marcus Garvey or what they mm -hmm. say the uh, thing right here, uh, red, black, and green. That's the original one. But that's this this speaks directly because that's Pan African, really. Yes, it is. Right. But this speaks to directly. For you know, a, a black folk that went through that whole slavery, antebellum, exactly. whatever, you know, but Jim Crow. Actually, before slavery, right? Because blacks were here even before slavery started. The actual Native Americans were black. They want to tell you that they were Indians, but those were black folks. The ones that they shipped in here and claim were Indians were some from somewhere else, completely different. There's no uh, native. We were the native Americans. There's a, the, 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 you know, this is why. Well, this is why academia is bad and, and should be good. This is why HBCUs. I'm, I'm through with those guys. But well, anyway, okay. see, because they, they talk about think tanks. They should mm -hmm. be think tanking. You know what I mean? I've been trying to get black folks to do that. I got a penthouse they, they, in know. Indianapolis. I've set up as a think tank. Oh but you can't man. get black folks to, to, to come and participate in it. Because, like I said, the average, the average black folk person doesn't tend to care for thinking because nobody ever taught us how to think. They told us what to think. Mm. And we don't like responsibility. Mm. And if you don't want the responsibility, you don't really want freedom. Yeah. There you go. Because as we said, if you want freedom, you have to understand the value of maintenance. Mm. And if you ain't going to maintain it, what the fuck you want it for in the first place? Maintenance, everything, yeah? It is. I got you, yeah. See and we don't want that maintenance piece. That means we don't really want freedom. But like you were saying, like, like you were saying, because you know you, you know Steve Coakley, oh, yeah. where we were saying that, you know, but we don't have really, forget the, before the maintenance, we had that strategy and tactic to have mm -hmm. something to get the maintenance, yes. and he had strategy and tactics. Right. You and your, so you have a bunch of people, yes. but, but, but they're not listened to. Oh, you yes, know? they do. Well, they will listen to it and steal aspects of it, mm -hmm. because that's what niggas are. I told you, they attempt toxic educated mobile parasites. They will steal divine concepts, shit on them and go, we didn't we knew that shit couldn't work in the first place. Nigga, you can't steal divine work and work it. Only the divine can do it. You're a devil, motherfucker. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And if you ain't gonna do what's right, that's what the, the back of the shirt is about. It's a righteous African Listen. renaissance. But I can't find righteous Africans. Uh, I find these rare. Full time African full-time niggas. 
Uh, <laughs> See what I'm saying? It stands for Righteous African Renaissance because our evolution, that's what the E is, our evolution is our revolution. Mm, mm. Our destiny is tied to nationhood. That's the destination. Our destiny is tied to nationhood. And at the end of each and every day, one is something that Funkadelic created. O-N-E, our nation's evolution. Everything is on the one. Ain't that what Funkadelic said? Well, yeah, they got that from James, but hey, Funkadelic, he's talking about this. Talking about this right here. Yes, sir. That's right, that's right. The chocolate people. That's right. <laughs> Wherever we stand is holy ground. Okay, well, thank you, Percy Lee, New World Warrior. Yes, sir. We appreciate y'all.